everyone. So I'm going to go through this density gizmo lab with you, just so that you have a better understanding of how to conduct this experiment. The gizmo labs are just really helpful in order for you guys to be able to do labs, but while we're still at this distance, hybrid, virtual, in-class type learning situation, okay? So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click right here where it says density laboratory, and it's going to take you to the explore learning site. Now, something that's really important is that you come up over here and you click log in. If you don't log in, then you can't go past this gizmo time. If you didn't sign up for gizmos, go ahead and use the login code, the class code to sign up. And if you have any issues, let me know, but let me know as soon as possible. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of split my screen. And it, the reason I'm going to do that is because I would like to be able to see my lab while I am um, doing the gizmo. So I'm going to split this screen. I'm going to make sure that I can see my lab. And then I'm going to bring the gizmo over so that I can play the gizmo. Okay. And so the very first thing that it asks you to do is it says that you have... Um, it goes over looking at what the vocabulary is that we're going to look at in this unit and so or in this activity. And some of that vocabulary is buoyancy, density, graduated cylinder, mass, matter, scale, and volume. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to have to figure out which of these objects do you think would float in water. And in order to do that, you're going to double click right here. And when I double click here, I have the ability to go ahead and draw on this diagram. So I could maybe do a line or I can do a shape, okay? Um, and so I could do a scribble, but whatever I wanna do, I am going to do that on this diagram right here. And then when you do that, when you circle whatever's going to um, float in water, then you will close that up and it will show up on your image, okay? The next thing that you're going to do is answer this question, why do some things float and some things sink, okay? Then if we look at this, it says, the density laboratory gizmo allows you to measure the variety of objects, then drop them in water or other liquid to see if they sink or float. An object's mass is the amount of matter that um, the amount of matter it contains and mass can be measured with a calibrated scale like the one that's shown. So then it says, what is the mass of object one? So instead of taking object one, I'm gonna take object two, okay? And I'm going to draw scale. And so that's going to tell me that it is 11 grams, okay? That's going to tell me that it's 11 grams. And I'm going to take it off of the scale, okay? And then you're going to figure out the volume. So it says, what is the initial volume in the cylinder? So then if I look at this, I'm gonna see, okay, my initial volume in the cylinder is about 400, it looks like it's about 400 um, milliliters right there, okay? Um, and what I can do is I can, then the next thing that I can do is I can um, take my object, my object number two, and I can drop it in my water. Okay, and the final volume is 409.0 milliliters. So it gives me my initial volume and my final volume, which is 409.0. So then, um, and that's different because I used object two, remember, and I'm asking you guys to use object one. Um, and then it asks you, what's the volume of the object? So how do you find that? you find that by water displacement. So the amount of water that's displaced is the volume of your unknown object. The amount of water displaced is equal to the volume of your object. So in this case, for object two, my volume is going to be 9.0 milliliters, okay? And milliliters is actually the same as centimeters cubed. They are equivalent. One milliliter is equivalent to one centimeter cubed. So then you're going to go through and you're going to run this experiment for all of the different objects. So you're going to identify, does it float or sink? What is the mass and what is the volume? And then you're going to determine the density. So you're going to see right here, it says calculate the density. And density is a measurement of mass divided by volume. Density is mass divided by volume. So when you calculate that density, then you're going to talk about what do you notice about the density of the sinking objects? 
And what do you notice about the density of the floating objects? And then draw some conclusions on that and then answer these post-lab questions. You must answer these post-lab questions for me. Okay. If you have any questions, go ahead and reach out. I'm here to help. Go ahead and email me and I look forward to talking to you soon.